Hi, I'm Joanne Leslie. I'm a trustee of Freedom From Hunger, and I'm here in rural Peru. Um, we are in the small town of Parcarbamba, and we just visited a uh, village bank in, a, in an even smaller community nearby. And there's so many things that have really opened my eyes in the three days that we've been traveling around. I think one of the things that really come home to me about the lives of the people who live here in the Sierra of Peru is the incredibly long distances that they have to travel almost always on foot in order to uh, advance themselves in their lives, whether we're talking about children who have to walk two, two and a half hours in order to get to secondary school. These children leave at 5.30 in the morning, um, and one wonders how much they can study when they have been walking such a long distance, but they're determined to get their education. Or we're, whether we're talking about a woman uh, like Sebastiana, whose farm we visited this morning, and she's raising pigs. She actually got a loan from one of Freedom From Hunger's partners, Finca, to uh, buy these pigs, and she's hoping to make some money to raise uh, the living standards for herself and her nine children. But when she comes time to sell the pigs, she's going to have to walk um, four hours uh, to the nearest market in order to sell them. I guess along with this, another thing that has impressed me is the absolute determination of all the women that we've talked to to improve the lives of their children. Every time I ask a woman, what do you hope for for your children? Her response is something better than I have. That they're working hard, they're saving hard, they're taking out loans to increase their business, to uh, uh, sell more product in order to achieve some kind of better life for their children. We've talked to women who uh, have children studying to be doctors in Lima. One woman, that Victoria, the president of the bank that we visited this morning, she, her daughter is studying to be a nurse in Lima. The, the, the devotion of these mothers to, to their children, whether we're talking about very little children or the bigger children, is it, it's obviously the central thing in their lives, to provide for their children and as, they, as they've been saying to us in Spanish, to have something mejor, better for their children than they have had for themselves.